Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And I'm Sully. And Will's still here too, if he wants anything. Yeah, is sure, there? Yeah, Will. Will! Will is here. Okay, so we Looks got like a horse shoe. <laughs> <laughs> we got a horseshoe. We got a horseshoe. Ah, we got a little check mark on the, on the gallows. Look at that. Look at that. It's done. It's done. We've done we did it. it. We did it. There's a little hanging man in the middle too. Uh, not a I forget man, where I an need to gallows. put. I think it's. So it looks like there was some doors in the middle that you haven't checked. Where? I'm really like surprised. Left. Yeah. Um, in in those set of yeah, doors, like directly see, in front yeah, of you, yeah, there's a one yeah. door you went through, but you haven't checked that back room. Oh no! no, no. Okay, so in the middle, those are cells, and they are open. The two that I could go through are open. Oh, okay. They're just open. All I right. think it's actually there What's where that, the stairwell that is. Big red square. I think it's where the stairwell is. Okay. The big red square is the save point, remember? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've ever seen a save point on the map, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> or paid that much attention. Thanks, Drew. This You're is welcome. only like a really important let's play for me. It's only like your favorite game. Like Super Resident Evil 2 and Super Metroid. <laughs> and, and I actually studied up for this one, so, I mean... It's not like I'm not paying attention. Thanks, bud. Don't, don't hate me. I'm not, Sorry. Hate, I'm not hating you. I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a thing, isn't it? It's going to be a thing. Uh, so, okay. Uh, yeah, here. Okay, so I kind of glossed yeah. over this, but there's yeah. this guy here. Floor door. It's like, oh, Floor there's door. a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's probably, there's only a depression left where there's probably once a handle. Oh, well, hey. wouldn't you know it? We just picked up this so, handy dandy what I knife. Like Examine, yeah. For sure. What I like about the puzzles in this game is Resident Evil was like, it looks like I should put a crank with a square hole in this. And then you go and find a crank with a square hole. It's, like, it's oh. actually called crank with square hole, probably. Yeah. yeah. Or it's, it's called a crank, but you can like look oh. at it and you see yeah. it's got a square hole. But um, this one is more like, uh, what the hell could I use? Like, that's like handle shaped. You kind of find a horseshoe. It's like, oh, hell. Like, I could, like, use that as a handle. Yeah. And, like, so, I need something with, like, I could pick this key out of this drain. It's like, well, I've got a piece of hair and a bent needle. Make, yeah, MacGyver it. This one is unfortunately a little bit more complicated. So, if I go to use, you'll uh -huh. see he says, I can't do anything with just this. So, you gotta combine it with the wax doll. Yeah. Let's combine number two and the lighter. Combine it with the lighter. Oh, well, you gotta, you, you you gotta, melt, gotta the wax. melt the wax so that it sticks to the uh, straight MacGyver right here. Yeah. This is intense. You, you fill it with wax and then you put it in there and let the wax dry. and then... Man, some yeah, patience right? right there, man. He waited there for that. <laughs> There's another hole that I can't see the bottom of. Let's go for it! It's worked so far. I mean, really. To get us into more creepy, scary places and not actually... If Eddie down. can do it, then so can we. <laughs> Eddie's probably down here somewhere. Or Lara. We might run into Lara sometime soon. It's been a little while. And Angela. B1 at Fortune. Yeah, where's Angela quarters. at? I haven't seen Angela in a while. Oh, we'll see in her. Oh, I'm sure. Soon enough. What was that? What was that? Rotten some. smell. Somebody's dead in there. There's a lot of rotten. There should be rotten smell everywhere in this game. Everything looks like it's I'm, dead or got a dead person on I'm, it. Like, I'm surprised you can really pick out any specific rotten smell at this yeah, point. Right? Yeah, right. Everything. Ooh. Uh, That's rotten. What? Oh. What did you say about his imagination? Nauseatingly rotten flesh. Put bodies in these like tube things. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Scary. Oh. Hey, the corpse into, into this, this hole. hole. This hole. Can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? It's covered in blood. It's covered in blood. Let's <laughs> jump in. Oh my god, James. Like, really? Never. I mean, he's got a whole different paradigm at this point. I mean, like. Yeah. This, he's just like, oh yeah, this is pretty standard. This is like the yeah, same. I mean, door. now he's kind of effed. He, there's no way he's getting back up. Oh, yeah, really? 
Just gotta play this out. How is this getting you to the hotel, dude? Like, <laughs> how far down are you? Oh, uh, what about that uh, okay. hole? Another it's compound hole. holes now. Do I really have to drop? Well, you have well, no I mean, at this choice. Point, you have no choice. Like, I, I wish like one of these holes was way too long, and then like he just dies, and that's game over. <laughs> this is the one where you they're get making it a little bit more un nervous with the jumps. Ends up outside. Oh boy. There's an elevator next to this hole. Goes all the way back up. It's going down even more. The door, too. And not. Much. I have a map of this area? No, okay. Alright. You're here ish. Should probably check the door first, right? Well. I guess we don't want to check that door at all. Please tell me there's Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh... Examine the knife. I did that already. Well, do it again. Do it again. Just do it in the bank house. Do not examine that. Hmm. I think I want this. Okay. <coughs> there's something in that corner. Penguin bullets. There's uh, something in that corner. That wasn't there before. <laughs> uh, real quick inventory. Okay. Seven. I should reload that. Ten. Hundred thirty-four. Six. Ninety. Four. Twenty. Okay. It concerns me that you think Ten, that might not be enough. Four, yeah, I see what you did there. Uh, I'm gonna drink some of this beer. <laughs> Swag YOLO XXX. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, beer of the evening is Southern Tears Warlock. It's really good. Taste it. it yeah, really it's good. visit your local distributor today. Uh, so. How about that I'll game there? It. We are in the uh, mantle of the earth. <laughs> We've gone below the crust. And everything looks better than it was up there. That's because nobody comes down here. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many dead folks have you made? we got to make it this far to be dead here, right? <laughs> Seriously. Oh. Sounds like a lot. Oh, this just, just this just looks like a shitty apartment building. That's just apartment. normal guys. Yeah, yeah they're, they're fine. Yeah. Use your hand on that. Yeah, I'm not wasting no uh no shotties on this. I love how they kind of sink down a little bit when you kick off. Oh Ouch. oh oh. How's your health looking? Probably uh fairly oh mediocre. Okay, it's not terrible. Awful, yeah. Again, quick reminder to anyone who might want to uh, get a quick reminder on it. Hmm. Um, I'm purposefully keeping my health uh, not at green. In order to achieve the specific ending. Yes. Alright, we're good. We're good here. There was like a door thing back there. There is a door thing. Uh, you'll notice that we can't go through it. I, know, I just think you're like, about it. I don't know. There's a wire stretched. The white the wire stopping us. If only I, could... I had some sharp object to <laughs> cut this wire. <laughs> Examine it. Alright. This is this hallway is useless. <laughs> I was kinda of hoping you'd examine like the far wall and it would slide open like in Golden Eye. <laughs> You come out the other side and you shoot. <laughs> Odd job. By surprise. Ah, I know what that is. I don't want to go there yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's go down this other hallway first. I don't know. If, oh! They're all ladders. I don't. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Gotta. Oh, we gotta go down one ladder. I'm not sure. Uh, you can go back up the ladder. So. Oh, Those guys! Right. 
pull. Oh, mm, 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 mm. uh, uh. No, that's not. They're those guys. I don't even care about. Like they don't do anything. I know, but they're still unsettling. <sighs> oh, is, that... is it a gun blade? No, it, well, great no, knife. no. That's the. Uh, so this is a great knife. The great looks, knife. It's like a sword. I mean, realistically, this so a okay. Sword. Let's take a look at this great knife here. It's a sword. Let's go ahead and equip it. Can this, we? Yeah, this look familiar. What? I are we become is, Pyramid I, Head? Uh, we are. We can't do any of the, his attacks, and also it slows us down to like this. I can't run. Uh huh. Well, does it at least do super damage? Really a giant yeah, it does. Knife. It okos everything. Uh, I won't be using it. Okay. Because it is painfully slow. <laughs> But it does oko everything. It's nice. You don't you don't like rolling with the Swaihanda? Uh I in this game, I really don't. <laughs> Let's see the other way back up, right? It looks like it is the other way back up. Oh, and Whoa, I'm going that way. There he is! There I'm he is. going that way. He's oh, I'm outy. I'm outy. Oh go he's on. Chilling down here like he's yep. like... Yep, he is. All right. You um, it's like a sword. big deal to run into him. It is. It is. And there. Uh, so fun fact. Uh, I want to, but I can't. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. Um. So Pyramid Head is now a regular enemy. <laughs> oh, good. Is he killable now, or no? Okay. Still unkillable, but he shows up outside of boss fights now. So you just, you just have to run away from him when he shows up? Yeah, pretty much. That's terrifying. Yep. Reload. Yep. I know, I know. But you never do it. I know. <laughs> I just want to keep this interesting for you, Drew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. This guy. What? Uh... Ah, this puzzle. Uh, oh, I wish I had save states. Uh, okay, so this room is a box. It's a box with a door on the floor. Yes, yeah, door on the floor, two doors on the floor, three doors on the floor. You know. One's on the wall. One's up on yeah. the wall. That's. I'm this. Gonna guess, I'm gonna guess the room turns when you turn this thing. Yeah. So it's like. You do that. And now. That was wrong. Uh. Uh, the hole, the location of the holes change. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. The door there. Okay, we can walk through. We can go down. Why do I feel like there should be spikes flying out of the walls in that room? Uh, because you've seen the cube. Oh, oh, hey. So yeah, let's hang out here. Didn't she like you know die? You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, James, and then- James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am, if you want me to be. 
All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. She sounds so dead when he said that. <laughs> so Does she have a wedding ring on? Yeah. It's kind of like an amalgamation of his made-up Maria and his actual Mary. So... Here's the thing. Here's something we're going to learn about James very shortly. What is that? What's going so on? It's, uh, oh, this guy here. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can fix it. Wire cutter. Oh. That's... Someone cut the wires and left the wire cutter there. Ooh, I want to go back up there. Um. So here's something we're going to learn about James in the near future. Um. So going back to his wife had a disease. Um, she did, and it left her bedridden for a long time. Um, the thing with that though is, I mean, he was still she was still married to James. Uh, and he was, you know, he was faithful to her. Like, there's no indication that we get that he ever cheated on her during this time. But there is definitely a character flaw in him that he was very sexually frustrated. He was very upset that he couldn't, you know, uh, make love to his wife. Um, and he wanted that sort of sexual relationship um, while she was bedridden. So we get a little bit of that here He's talking to somebody that he believes is not his wife. And she says, don't you want to touch me? And all of a sudden his mood changes. He's accusing her before. He's like, I just want answers from you. You know, just tell it to me straight. And then she says, don't you want to touch me? You know, you better get over here. I can't do anything inside these bars. And he goes, oh, okay. I'll be right there. You know, all of a sudden, like, his whole demeanor changes. He just gets very deadpan. He was... Like, very animated when he was saying, like, you know, why can't you just give me a straight answer? And then he's like, oh, um, I'll be right there. Yeah, I, I, you know, he... But did that, did that say something different? Nope. Huh. The whole, I mean, the whole thing is, the answer is yes. He wants to diddle her. Okay. Um, and that's going to get a lot of action in the near future. Ha! <laughs> get a lot of action. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. Uh, I didn't realize he was that close. <laughs> I don't see how you could have. Camera. Thanks, camera. Ah, uh, we're still fine. Yeah, we're still good. They still do piddly damage. For now. Oh, so that's it's up. Oh my. Slosh, slosh. Let's go this way, I guess? I guess. Okay, so that got us on the other side of that. Noises. Anything? What is that? Switches? Nothing? Nothing. Oh. Nothing on here. Okay. Okay. Randor! Dude, Randor keeps coming online. Uh, I noticed that. Maybe we should just sign out of Xbox Live. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. It's coming from the right, I think. Does it actually come from the, the sound come from the side it's at? Or is it, it does. That's the... Oh, I guess not. The design of this area, I'm not quite sure I understand it. <laughs> <coughs> it was probably done like an apartment building to 
for the for a reason. I unfortunately do not know what said reason is. Uh, okay. Also, we need to be careful here. Are we gonna get a visit from our best buddy? Uh, we may. <laughs> if I remember this place correctly, we do. I really hope you know where you're going, because I am all kinds of confused right now. I'm a little lost, not gonna lie. Just kinda pick a direction and go. Sounds like it's on the right. Yeah. So here's another thing I'm just noticing. James feels awfully comfortable with firearms. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not sure what the significance of that is. I'm sure it has some. Oh, I think that just speaks is just another little thing toward his personality of just being someone who's kind of recklessly aggressive sometimes. Yeah, a lot of times. Absolutely. It's definitely something something to note of his character. Yeah. Is at this point he's got a complete disregard for his own well being. <laughs> Jumping into six black uh, holes. Granted, in a row. granted, we are exacerbating that by examining the knife. Essentially, we're saying we're we're telling the game, hey, we think James wants to commit suicide. There was some handgun. Yeah. Yep. It's like a maze. Hey, a wolf like. You're just following the left hand rule right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at that. It works. Newspaper on the ground. Something that looks like blood, but might not actually be blood. The both. The boot. <laughs> the Badoof man. Okay. Bidoof. All right. <clears throat> later ident the body of a man later identified as Thomas I'm going to fill this in Orozco Lumberjack age 39 was discovered in the blank lying face down the probable cause of death as multiple sta was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp edged weapon the estimated time, time of death was somewhere between 11pm and 12.30 midnight Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this is a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, uh, but was a crime of passion. I'm filling that in for you. Crime of passion. Mm-hmm. Multiple stab wounds. Uh-huh. Angela's last name is Orozco. Mm. Bloody... She had a bloody knife. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Quite. Something to ponder on. Yeah. Thomas Orozco, Angela Orozco, Thomas Orozco murdered by multiple stab wounds. Angelo Orozco has a bloody knife. <laughs> Gonna put those data points out there and let you... Crime of passion. Crime of passion. Crazy lady. Crime of passion. No. Oh, uh, God. Speaking of Angela... Here we go. Oh. This one's gonna run a little long. Oh. Um... What? What? Alright, hold on a minute. Is that kind of a bed? That is a bed. Okay. More specifically, we'll, we'll um, let me, let me kick its ass first. Huh. <laughs> Six ways to Sunday. 
Uh, get up. Those look like engine pistons. Yeah, a little bit. They're very mechanical. Very penetrative. Oh, yeah. oh no, oh no, oh no. Force right. my... you need to... This is like a dude that is a bed. This is... Yeah, I do need to heal. He's like wearing like a bed skin costume. Yeah, so... I'm gonna... We're gonna take a minute and talk about character design. I just need to kick this thing's ass. Hold on. Sorry. Auto aim only sometimes works. <laughs> you gotta be at least in the ballpark of yeah. aiming at it. So this is this is the uh, strategy. Run it from one end of the room to the other. Childhood trauma. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. If you didn't know before. Are you okay? Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Ugh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So, we might run a little bit long, but I want to describe a couple of things here. This was really heavy. So, this boss... Um, this boss, we can assume, is Thomas Orozco. Um, again, remember that, that Silent Hill, when you enter Silent Hill, it's all about facing your inner demons, facing the, the plagues of your past. Um, we find out that Thomas Orozco was murdered with multiple stab, stab wounds. We find Angela Orozco at one point with a knife that we hold on for, for her. It's already got blood. But she's not, you know, she didn't cut herself any, anyway. She did already use it, we can tell, because of the blood. But she's still alive, so she didn't slit her own wrist. She didn't kill herself. So that might lead us to believe, you know, one possible conclusion, that she went ahead and killed Thomas. Why would she kill Thomas? Well... <clears throat> Crime of Passion, the, and quick disclaimer, this is going to get a little heavy, so if you're not keen on listening on this, uh, I guess we can put like I'll, an annotation. I'll put a, a skip. Let's put an annotation in so you can skip it and we'll get into the rest of the game. But the Crime of Passion here is that when Angela was growing up, uh, Thomas Orozco and her brother, um beat, abused, and raped her. Um, the character design for uh, this for this boss fight is a square or a rectangular 
shape, almost like a bed with four posts. Um, it's a body, or actually two bodies, if you look closely, unfortunately we're not going to be able to see it. We'll post maybe a, um, a picture of the, uh, the, character art. the character art for it. There are two bodies. One is hunched over the other, and they're both wrapped in a sheet of skin. Uh, at the forefront, that one was pretty clear when we saw the cutscene. It looked like a penis. Um, this is representative of the fact that um, she was abused as a younger child. Whenever she was young um, and small, uh, he would, uh, you know, have his way with her. A um, couple of other things to note about this. You'll see that these pistons are lining the room. Um, speculation on this one, it's never been clearly stated on this, but... Speculation on this one rep, uh, suggests that this is representative of the way this this rape was for her, in that it, it was mechanical. These pistons are showing us that it's mechanical. It's inhuman. This wasn't love. This was a a forceful and machined act. Um, we also can speculate that the number of the pistons running around the, over the room, because you'll actually see that there are none on this wall, but there are, and if you count them, there are twenty three pistons. Um, the, I guess, accepted, because again, this is, hasn't been, you know, stated as fact, the accepted uh, interpretation interpretation here is that each one of these is represented, representative of the times that she was violated as a child growing up. Um, now, when she has her dialogue here again, you know, James is sort of only half um, sympathetic to her. He's like, hey, but like he's really kind of just standing around, like you know, if you, you gotta, you gotta sort of understand, you know, what would happen here in a normal human interaction if you were to walk in on somebody facing the fact that they were raped time and time again by their father. Growing up, you might react a little bit differently, and and her her mortification was genuine. She was she was she was terrified. She was angry. She was upset, and her reaction towards James was absolutely what one might expect. You know, I don't want another guy touching me when he finds out about this because, you know, this is like a tender subject. It's kind of, it's it's weird. I, I can't even put it to words. But um, his reaction to her was sort of like, I understand that you are, you know, what's going on here, but I don't care. So that is important. The way she lashes out at him, and specifically what she says at the end, hey, you know, I bet you didn't want, uh, you know, her in the picture. You just wanted somebody else. That has some depth here. Um, actually, we don't even really need an annotation here because we're out of time. That's where we're going to end it off here. Next time, we're going to continue on. Catch you guys later. See ya.